everybody. Bill Sullivan. As promised, sort of. I uh, hoped to get it done a little bit sooner from the Whistle 3, 3 workshop uh, from last week. Also, the notes here are ever so slightly different. You probably started to figure out that I do that. But it's not really me that does that. It's the music itself. Because it has a history and it's very local and tunes will be played a particular way um, by, by a particular person, a particular town, a particular county. Um, so when someone else is playing it differently, it's not necessarily wrong. Although sometimes you go down a rabbit hole if you go down that, if you, if you take that sentence and keep going about what's wrong and what's right in a setting. Anyway, uh, this tune gets played um, in different keys in different ways. And this is actually slightly different than the setting that, that I had in my head. But I, I like this. So it's an opportunity for me to play a little bit. And uh, it's also just a little bit simpler, I think, than, um, than the one that I had you, that we got started with. Uh, first off, the first difference, you'll notice at the very beginning, they have that like, I've never done that with this tune, so there's a nice day. And that little, that anytime you have a half step where you're going from a C sharp, there's, I mean, you get this, it's a very nice little, nice little lift. We're going to talk a little bit about lift and that sort of thing later on. So here we go. Uh, I'll, I'll see if I can play what's on the page. Always a challenge. So I can't play it fast like this. I can't. I've got one version on my head and another version on the page. So that's by way of demonstration of what not to do. This is one of the reasons you want to learn to get the music in your head. Um, because that's really where the music's coming from in the end. But we're going to work. Uh, we'll, we'll go through slowly what's on the page here. And by the end of it, I should have it. We'll see. So uh, we'll play through the first line. Now notice, I'm like, so I'm, do, I'm adding a little. So I'm cutting. So I'm not, I'm not putting a grace before the note. I'm going. I'm kind of taking the note and dividing it into three parts. Da, 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 da. Second line. All right, let's play through the whole A part nice and slow. Two. Again, if you read music, you're going to notice that the timing 
isn't really reflected accurately on the page. You can't. It's like trying to capture all of the nuance of someone's accent in writing. It, you can get close and you know some writers will write in a local vernacular and do a pretty good job of it but you can't capture really um, what someone like who lives in Boston sounds like versus someone who lives in North Carolina and so what you have here are what you might call the bones of the tune and what it actually sounds like you need to listen to players and you should listen to as many different players um, as you can playing a tune and hopefully in the case of polkas you know, to the extent that you can, listen to someone from County Kerry because this is their music. Um, all right, the B part. I didn't mark here where you might breathe and breathing of course is something we've talked about with reference to other tunes in this case the kind of the easy place to take breaths is when you see a whole note when you have a note that's longer than the others and that in this tune tends to be on the high D's you can go And by taking a breath there, it all it tends to add a little bit of hop to the to the tune in a nice way. All right, uh, let's see if um, we can play it. Just we'll play it. We'll play it slow again. All right. Those, the pickup notes, like that, and the, they literally are pickup in the sense that you're kind of picking the dancers up off the floor. And you can introduce those sorts of things. talk about that a little bit more in the next lesson. The, the ways that you can add a note in a spot that maybe it's not on the page and how to learn to hear that and how to learn to feel when you might do it so that you can introduce a little bit more of just the tiniest little bit of variety in your own playing. The, the tiniest little bit of, hey, that note wasn't there the last time you played this same phrase it just adds delight um, to a tune. So that's Bill Sullivan's for you. Um, Mickey Chewing Bubblegum is another name that I've seen for it. All right, see you soon. Where's the off button?